what's up youtube pictures by schoolboy back again and welcome back to another photoshop tutorial so as we all know in my previous video in my last video i gave you some couple of tips about frequency separation and um, the right way to do it to get the perfect skin textures so in today's tutorial we are going to do that exactly here the last video was to show you how to do it and um, how to avoid some little imperfections but in today's video we are actually going to do it and um, apply some little little adjustment layer that i used for this image on this one to see if the color grading matches with it it's a natural light photo shoot and um, i think the picture looks amazing so before we get into the video if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing for amazing content like this each and every week and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell to also get notified anytime i put up a new video all right so let me duplicate my background layer create a group and name it frequency separation so let's do it fs and then name this one high frequency layer and then this one to low frequency blur let's turn this off and then start with the blur just as i explained in my previous video so with this picture we are going to use a lower blur radius like six i think six is fine because she doesn't have that much of blemishes on her skin so i think a lower radius will be fine for this skin as a matter of fact, let me make it 7. I think 7 is fine. So let's use 7 for the radius of the first blur. And then the second blur, we are going to use a little bit higher radius to get that amazing skin textures. So let's move on. Apply image. And then low frequency blur. Alright, so let's get started and um, see the radius that we are going to use for this type of skin. She has an amazing skin tone as you can see. It doesn't really look bad even though we haven't done any frequency separation or any, you know, skin retouching. So if you are done with the skin retouching, it will look amazing. Oh, sorry. It will look amazing so let's see the blur that we are going to use for this one um i was thinking about 25 or 30 for this one but i don't know how best that is going to work so oh why is the pc running slow like that yeah so i think 25 is fine let me do 30 and see if 30 is too much let's see the before and after i think 30 is fine as a matter of fact let me make it 20 27 let's make it 27 and um, yeah it looks it looks amazing it looks amazing so let's continue with the rest of the skin as you know this is a portrait so there isn't much to do just her face and um, her shoulders and uh, some little parts of her arm and then we are done i'm sure this is going to turn out really really good because the lighting was on point the sun was just shining at the right spot and uh, she doesn't have that much of blemishes on her skin and also she has amazing skin tones so the picture is really going to turn out great i have a good feeling about this one so we are going to use a, a little lower a lower radius a lower radius for for um for the nose because most times most times if you use the same radius for the nose it tends to be a little too much let me go back on 
what i just did right here i think it was too much i didn't make the selections well so i'm going to do it again that's the beauty about you know retouching if you do it and you think it doesn't look it doesn't look great just go back and do it again if you don't take your time and you know go with whatever result that you get you are going to have some weird skin textures and you don't want that to happen so you always want to take your time with the skin to get the amazing you know skin tones so as you can see we are back to the radius again because we are going to use a little lower radius for her eyebrows and um and her nose so i'm going to go to um let's do 15 and see yeah i think 15 is okay so we are going to do 15 for the nose and the eyebrows and then we are going to continue with the rest of the skin as you can see 15 is more lower and um it looks great so we are going to use the same radius for this part of her eye and then the next thing that we are going to do is to remove this pimples on the skin with the clone stamp tool so i'll select the clone stamp tool and then you know you hold alt you click and then you click on the spot just like that to remove the blemishes so i'm going to remove these blemishes and then i'm going to continue with the rest of the skin i mean her arms and um, her shoulders so i'm going to finish removing these blemishes and then i'll catch you guys when i'm going to start with the rest of her skin i hope you are enjoying this video so far Alright guys, so I'm done removing all those little imperfections and uh, it looks great right now. So here is a quick before and after. As you can see, it looks amazing. So we are going to continue with the rest of the skin, you know. So let's just move on and start with the skin I, and see. I don't know if I'm going to raise up my radius for this one we use 27 for the face let's see if the same 27 works for the for the skin i think i'm going to use 34 for her skin i mean her arm and um, her shoulders because i want to get more textures at this particular area so i have to use a little more radius as you can see it looks so nice and so realistic so we are going to do this part and um, we are not going to spend much time with the color grading because i already have a color grading layers that i was working on with the image i showed you earlier and i think it's going to work pretty well with this image so we are going to drop that you know layers on this image to see if it works best with this image and then we call it a day so as you can see i'm done right now i'm done with the rest of the skin and it looks amazing so here is the before and here is the after so we are going to go ahead and merge these layers and then move the color grading that i was talking about to this image and see how well how nice 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 so as you can see it looks amazing right now so let me move 
my logo out of her face let me put it somewhere here yeah so as you can see we are done color grading it it's not always that you have to waste time to you know to color grade sometimes if you color grade an image like this and um, it looks nice and the color grading look looks nice for you you can save you can save the image as a as a um how do you call it um uh, i've forgotten you can save the image um, in a way that you can open it again just to use the the same style of color grading for a different picture as you can see this image is different from this one but the color grading works with this one too and it looks nice in my opinion here is the before and here is the after before and after so as you can see it looks amazing the skin looks perfect everything is on point everything is nice and um, this is what you know this is the right way to retouch skin as you can see the skin looks flawless it looks pretty pretty nice and it doesn't look fake so yeah that will be the end of today's video please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and um, i'll see you guys in the next one peace